hello everyone today we'll 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 know how to how to do ar aging according to excel in excel so have we got our data that is in our data there is customer name in the left most in the left most column and there is amount and there is invoice date and the due date the invoice date would be the date of the bill and due date is one month after that and we are taking aging as on 2nd of february 2020 so first of all what we'll do is we'll apply the formula of bucket i will show it uh, i'll show you how to do it from scratch yeah keep d as constant and we'll minus it from here actually this is the lower value so we'll place minus over here and we'll add one this is the formula for bucket what i have done is i have first of all kept this value here and then i deducted this one from e1 and then added one as a value so i'll copy this formula downwards okay there's a problem in the formula i have to keep this one as totally constant constant value this is done so now we'll apply the the main function that is if function on this aging so first of all we'll do is we'll select this one and keep e as constant and we'll copy this okay copied so what we'll do we'll select the lowest value first of all we have four buckets and first will be 1 to 30 second will be 31 to 60 third will be 61 to 90 fourth one will be more than 90 days so we'll apply first if function would be on if this is more than less than 31 then the value would be 1 to 30 and if it is less than 61 then value would be 31 to 60 and if it is more than that and less than 91 Then it would be sixty-one to ninety. Otherwise, all classes would bring to more than ninety. And we'll keep three buckets, one, two, three, because three functions are there. Thirty-one to sixty-one. My bad. Done. So we'll copy this one and apply this down version and Control C and second we'll do Control Alt E S F. The formula is applied down version. This is by due date and down. I will do it on invoice date according.
bucket I have already applied my uh, this 2nd of February 29th of February 2020 minus the invoice date plus one already applied so what I will do is I'll copy this in downwards also alt ESS so both buckets are ready and I think it will be pretty easy for you to now do aging in Excel so don't forget to like share comment on my videos and subscribe my channel thank you